Hello folks at home. Just wanted to share with you guys a little bit. Um, this beautiful day I'm having here. I'm down in the Big D. Uh, it's very beautiful. Um, this is our winter. Today's February the uh, 10th, 2016. And uh, figured I'd uh, go ahead and shoot a little video. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to talk about just yet. Think about maybe telling a story. Um, maybe I'll talk about the heat down here. Because um, people see this, they see our they, they see our winter down here, and they might be they might be a little bit jealous, especially if they're from further up north. Uh, but the truth is, you really shouldn't be. You know, um, we get five months of triple digit, four to four to six months of triple digits weather, triple digits in the summertime. So, you know, all summer. Um, seldomly you'll get a day that's in the 90s, maybe a couple of days. But other than that, man, it's, it's rough. It's brutal. Uh, I call summer our winter down here, actually, because nobody goes outside unless they're going to work or maybe taking their kids to school and back home or whatever. Everybody stays inside in the summertime. And the heat is so extreme that down here, uh, air conditioning is code enforced. Like up north, heat is code enforced and regulated by the city, you know. You will not move into a house or apartment down here that does not have air conditioning of some type. It might be central air, it might be air conditioners provided by the landlord, but it, by, by law, by city code, they have to provide air conditioning because it's so freaking hot down here in the summer. Um, it's so hot, I got heat exhaustion this last summer, this past summer, three times, three times I got heat exhaustion. Um, the way I got it was I was working outside, it was extremely hot, 110, 115, and, um, and, you know, I just, I just didn't know, um, about staying up on my electrolytes and sodium, stuff like that in the summertime, potassium, very important in helping your body uh, regulate your body's temperature in extreme heat. It's one thing to stay hydrated. I was staying hydrated, but once you once you sweat out all your electrolytes, then you know you're screwed. You know, basically, because your body can't regulate your temperature anymore. Um, what helps to regulate your body's temperature is is your kidneys and you know your, your kidneys and the electrolytes that they can produce and pump pump out into your body so um, kidney damage and failure is common with heat exhaustion uh, and heat exhaustion basically is, is it basically comes in like two or three stages you know the first stage is you know you, it's hot it's, it's hot and once it gets 100 past 100 degrees it's really hard to gauge the temperature the air temperature by feeling it you know you can't even really tell once once it gets over 100, it's just hot. You know, you can't tell how hot it is. So, um, gosh, it's so nice out here. It's hard to make this video because it's so nice. Um, but first thing is, you know, you're exhausting yourself. You're over-exhausting yourself. So you're working hard. You're sweating profusely and rapidly. And before you know it, uh, you, 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 you go, you, you enter, your body enters a stage of hypothermia and you get the chills all over your body your muscles start to cramp up you get you get dizzy and dazed lightheaded um, and when you reach that point you're you're just inches away from uh, heat stroke so and if you know if, if you know anything about hypothermia you know the you know the symptoms and conditions of hypothermia um, basically your body is trying to regulate the your core temperature. So, what is it doing? It's it's um, it's it's. I guess it would be kind of a reverse hypothermia. And I think about it, um, it's it's pulling away. It's pulling blood away from your core. So that's probably why organ organ damage is common with heat exhaustion. You know, because it's trying to cool cool your core. So, but anyways very dangerous, nothing to play with, nothing fun about it, people freeze to death up north, people, people, 
burned to death down here. So don't be jealous of our weather. We, we basically only have two seasons, spring and summer. Uh, <laughs> and this is, this is more or less our spring. So, you know, we might not have to shovel snow or dig our cars out of the snow. But you do take, you do have to learn to take extra steps to stay cool down here. And um, people, people who drive cars, for instance, might be jealous about the drivers down here. They don't have to deal with their cars getting rusty and, you know, and, and, and everything else that comes with uh, uh, extreme, uh, extreme cold, right? We, we don't have the salt. We don't have, you know... The, the the moisture you know so we don't we, we don't have weather effects we don't have cold weather damaging effects on our vehicles down here but what does happen down here cars overheat all the time and if you park your car outside in the, in the extreme temperatures expect to be replacing your rubber the rubber fittings in your car on a on a regular basis your rubber and plastic fittings for instance the the dashboard will crack up, your struts, your hoses, your belts in, in the engine. Um, stuff like that will deteriorate uh, faster in the heat. So, you know, so as far as vehicle maintenance, costs are, costs are uh, comparable. Um, but yeah, you know, so, and then like, uh, for instance, like, uh, here's another example. In the wintertime, in uh, Chicago, New York, for example, you're walking down the street, you might cross the street to the other side because the other side, the, sh the snow has been shoveled. Well, down here in the summertime, you're walking down the street, you might cross the street to the other side because there's more shade over there. See? So, you know, it's all the same. No matter what. No matter what you do, you know, at the end, at the end of the day, it's all the same. Um, but I still like it down here. I love living down here. It's beautiful, and the economy is great. That's the main thing that uh, that attracts me to this place and keeps me happy and keeps me living here. Um, I've I've had plenty of work, I make good money. My quality of life is uh, pretty good, so can't complain there. You know, and it's a fast city, big city, lots of money. It's good. Um, let's see, yeah, that, I guess that's today's video. That concludes uh, this this vlog session. Um, but in any case, <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, I'll probably be doing another video uh, later today or tomorrow. And uh, love y'all. Bye.